It's me. What do I think? I like it. You're quite sure this is the one you want. Very well. It's decided then. That house now belongs to you, Hydra. What a happy day for you, I'm certain. I'll tell you what. I'll even throw in a radio in there for no extra charge. I can never sell that thing at the shop. This is what I mean. He tries to scam you out of everything you own. Now let me see. I suppose you'd like a quick rundown of your house. So listen carefully, please. There's one room. There's no heating. No bathroom. No kitchen. As you can no doubt see, the house doesn't have any furniture in it at all. Yes, quite bare, I'm afraid. Please stop talking about your bare butt. Anything you need, you'll have to get on your own. Obviously, you can't expect me to furnish the place for you. You can do whatever you like with your own stuff. But don't try to mess around with other folks' things. Well, not that you can. <laughs> we, we stop you from using any of your power in this world. Nobody will know if you just nudge stuff, though. Ho, ho. You'll probably want to pop into neighbors' houses to get some ideas for your own interior designs. I would. Oh, yes. That weird thing over by the door there. Hey, whoa! That's... What are these, what are these called? That would be your personal gyroid. I don't think you want gyroids, right? Or what are those things that are not good for you? Uh, guy, styroid? Thyroid. Yeah, I don't want no thyroids, bud. If visitors stop when you're not around, this gyroid will meet and greet them. It truly is a must-have. You can teach it messages, and then the little fellow will repeat them to visitors. And that's just one of its talents. You can also leave items with it, which it can give or even sell to folks. Oh, and one more thing. When you're done playing, be absolutely sure to speak to your gyroid. If you do not save the game, you will lose everything that you own. That is the only way for you to save everything you did that day. It would be a shame to lose such things. If you quit playing without talking to it first, it'll be like everything you did that day never even happened. This guy's freaking out as if this happened to him many times. He keeps having recurring dreams of getting married and then he forgets to save. I can't imagine a worse fate. Please take extra care so you never forget. I hate to see such a thing happen. And that marks the end of my explanation. I'm hoping that didn't, I, I didn't forget anything. Did you get all that? Did you perhaps wish to hear it again? Can you please tell me about the recurring uh, dream again? Yes, well, I'm sure you'll settle into the particulars of life in due time. Don't worry. Now then, let's see. With fees and closing costs, the house comes due 19,000 bells. I, uh... I'm a little strapped for cash, and you know what that means I'm gonna pull out my strap. Here you go, my, my friend. Ah, very nice. Yes, that would be... Not nearly enough. You only have a thousand bells? You're joking with me, yes? Why, oh, you're so short? I can't help but laugh. I'm like, maybe two more pixels shorter than you, Tom? You know what happens to people that don't have money, don't you? I'll tell you. They die. But you still need a place to stay, don't you? Hmm, a thorny situation. Yes, rather thorny. Oh, there we go again with the uh, light bulb. There's, here's what we'll do. We'll work part-time at my shop to pay off the rest. Yes, it's, accept it's, ex uh, it's acceptable. You'll be my own personal slave. This will work wonderfully. Now then, you'll have to come by my shop later to work. You can find my shop in Acre A5. You can't miss it. At least, most people can't miss it. If you have trouble, check the map by the station. Maybe go back to school. I'm heading back there now, so I'll be waiting for you. I'd ask to be quick about coming, yes? Yeah, I get asked that all the time. No, I get asked the opposite. Oh, look at him go! Welcome home, Hydra. I am currently processing data for Hydra. Good luck with your part-time job. Look at... It's a Christmas tree. Absolutely fantastic. And we got peaches. Peaches and cream. No, I don't really like peaches that much, but... You know, we do what we must. We do what we can. We'll try to go to a different town and... Steal some of their berries. I don't actually- What? This is like, the scene from Final Fantasy VII. I'm, uh, Aerith, and you know what's about to happen. Look at the top of your screen. Alright, anyways. Don't want to scare any bugs off, so we're not gonna- Actually, you know what, screw it, we'll run. Nook's Cranny. Whoa, he looks angry! What took you so long, he says. I was right behind you. If anything, I probably got here faster than you. I was starting to wonder if you'd show. Only kidding. Very good, yes. First off, you'll need to change into these clothes. If you must know. I heard him say if you must know. 
I suppose I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing, yes? So there is a way that you don't change? But of course, I'm I'm a good worker. I'll get in the spirit. That's better, yes. You look like you were born to wear that uniform. I just saw your naked body because you just changed in front of me. Now you can start working off the remaining 18,000 bells. Ha! <laughs> Sounds like fun, huh? First off, I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. The area around here is too dull, not charming at all. It's just not an ideal sort of shopping experience. People like shopping in areas that are clean and well kept. So I want you to spruce things up a bit for me. When you're finished, come and tell me, yes? Let's go. Our first quest. We have to get to level 1 million. Oh, there's no levels in this game. Ooh, that music though. Posture. Alright, well, plant a tree here. Look at it, it's so cute. Alright, what about plant another tree? Oh. Around his place, though. I don't want to plant too close. You see that butthole in the in the ground? All right, and typically what you'd think is plant him right in front of the place, but I, you know, if I'm running into my my work after a long night of drinking, I don't want to run through the plants, so I'm just gonna plant these in the middle of the winter, no problem. Plant them around. Ooh, that, I like that blue one. White Cosmos. Uh, Cosmos actually green. Gosh, they don't even know the lore. And we've done it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Talk about a hard day's work. So, did you make it look like a little nicer out there? Gave the ground some charming character, huh? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so I won't bother asking how you how you chose where to plant everything. I just put it all in one spot and took a big old dump on it. After all, I'm not the one who'll get laughed at when travelers from other villagers see your work. Wow! Tom Nook, that's rude as hell. Now, let's just see here, that little chore was worth, oh, let's call it about 80 bells, yes? Quite generous, I know. Oh, and about your wages. I'll just keep them as payment towards your mortgage. Oh, yes, you're never gonna eat food ever again. Now, what should I have you do next? Wait just a moment. Something just struck me. Hydra, you just moved to Frickland. But you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk. I'm gonna give you a little break, so why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town? Go on now. And don't forget to introduce yourself to the mayor, too. That would show some class. Hopefully, he's not dead. He is, like, actually 180 years old, not even exaggerating. You can probably find him wandering near the wishing well, wishing for unlimited life because he is going to perish soon. I'll see you later, yes? You already know I'm eyeing that Christmas tree in the, in the top left. We're gonna be in there like a red square, picking up every tree, every Christmas tree. You know, because in real life, I'm not the decorating type, but in Animal Crossing, I'm all about that decoration. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard tree. Dude, this this is an actual forest. Oh. Hello, you colorful bird. Rhoda. Yes, do you need something clucky? Don't be rude, tell me your name before I ask you for mine. I see. Hydra, huh? I'm Rhoda. I'll see you, Clucky. Uh, do you have your own island? <laughs> oh, Rhoda Island. We should probably be opening up our map. Oh, what's this? Oh, well. Wisdom of fishing. You can't catch what you can't see. Fish won't bite what they can't see. Rainy days make the fish come play. I wonder who the heck wrote that. Wisdom of... Excuse me? Know where the fish live, know the flow of the stream, pull, then push. I thought we actually just cycled and were reading the same sign. Come get your daily fortune. I read palms, paws, claws, talons, charters, and hoovers. Katrina. Katrina, is that you? You got a Mario shirt. Alfonso. Oh, it's so late. That's it. I'm going to bed right now. It's a me. <laughs> what? That's super copyrighted, Alfonso. You can't have that as your speech as your line most before i go i ought to introduce myself my name's alfonso i'm so sorry i'm sorry i'm in such a hurry but it really is nice to meet you 
It's a me. It's a me, Alfonso. Hello. Oh, jeez. You should probably uh, get that checked. Wart Jr. Oh, he's into it. What? What? What is it? You got some nerd bugging me at the time of night. Don't you grab it. Oh, this guy's straight from Boston. Oh, I get it. You're Hydra. And you wanted to say hello. Well, hi, I'm Wart Jr. I don't know why, but I think it's shine to you, Hydra. I can tell you from the East Coast. I'll see you around. Yep. Everybody from Boston's a toad. What errand have you at the wishing well? How are things? Apologize. What's this? Oh, whoa. In areas where there is little, very little green, a feeling of despair overshadows all else. Go to Acre A4 to see what is amiss. Hmm, I don't remember that. You do not appear to have any items you must apologize for. When you have items that you need to deliver, you should not cast them aside so quickly. Put a little more effort into finding the owner. The mayor in the bottom right, he's like, oh, I guess um, this thing's more important than I am. Freaking youngsters these days. This is the Frickland Wishing Well. This is where one comes to learn the status of all things in the town. When things are well, many travelers will come to visit Frickland. But there is still more wisdom in this well. If someone has given you something that, for some reason, you are unable to deliver or return, you can come to this well to apologize and leave the item here. There is no shame in apologizing. Sometimes it's all one can do when things go ill. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. Eh, hey, what? Who are you? You, whippersnapper! Tell me something. Who do you respect the most? You see, this is gonna give you a little insight into into me personally. Uh, the men in my family, you know. Typically not my my favorite getting that out there But you got it when you're talking to an older gentleman. You gotta be like my grandpa. I respect my grandpa the most Well now have my wise and old looks inspired respect you may be young, but you have a keen eye Tell me what's your name? Hydra well, that's nice. It's different your parents must be proud or something. My name is Tortimer I happen to be the mayor of Ficklin. Yep, yeah, quite the big job. Is it implied that Tortimer dies because later on in the series you become the mayor? You seem to have a, you seem like a decent sort. Whenever there's a holiday or event going on in town, why don't you come see me? I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yepper, I surely will. <laughs> Horf! Oh, jeez, Tortimer, are you feeling okay? Every time you laugh, he goes. Every time he laughs, he goes. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. That's a pickup button. Okay. Boy, you know we're already gonna collect this stuff because we gotta pay off our loans. Some coral. Yeah, let's just destroy the coral reef. The Able Sisters. I thought it said Bible Sisters for a second, even though I already knew what they're called. Hi there, come on in. Welcome to Able Sisters, where you are the famous fashion designer. Hmm. These are okay, I suppose. I could see myself wearing this one. Hello, Sable. Oh, she doesn't. She wants nothing to do with me. You know what that means? I want everything to do with her. That was not. That was creepy. Uh, yes. What do you need? Other things. When you say other things, what exactly do you mean? Download tool, upload design, read card, prep e reader. What? Be online. Is there anything else I can do for you? Just wanted to say hello. Okay, I see. Well, don't hesitate to ask when you do need something. I'll be happy to help. Thanks again. You come back now. No, like, come back. Come back. Boom, 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 boom. If you've never played Animal Crossing, one thing is the music is absolutely fantastic. I mean, many things. Is this Kiki? Kiki, do you love me? Mitzi. I.E. Hey, don't sneak up on me like that, Pete Mew. Don't you think it's rather rude to frighten a girl you don't even know? Yeah, frightening a girl you do know, that's completely normal though. You really startled me. But I think I'm okay now. I'm Mitzi. In the evening, please say hello to me very quietly, Mew. Okay, I'll remember to never talk to you again because you're not doing too hot. A lighthouse. Everybody in this town's all fricked up. We got one guy who thinks he's Mario. We got one guy who's, well, I mean, being out of Boston, that's good enough. You got 
Tortimer, who every time he laughs, he cries. My pockets are full. Hey, just drop it. I got small pockets. That's it.